I gotta please. I had someone tell me the other day they loved my readings, but they hated my microphone. And I understand you all. I got so many microphones and cameras. It's just I don't know how to use them. So I'm trying something different today. I hope it rest. I hope it works. I hope y'all can hear me clearly. I hope my shuffling is not loud because I shuffle really fast, and you may hear it on the microphone. And I apologize for that. Okay. This is going to be a message for the earthly Virgos who are celibate. I'm going to follow this up with those earthly Virgos who are getting some. Okay. So those of you who are celibate, I hope you're able to resonate. All right. We have the Eight of Cups and it's the Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like you're headed toward financial stability on your own. What's going on while you're celibate? The Nine of Swords. Lonely, maybe at some point. We're all human hell. Get lonely. That's just the nature of being human. Okay? Maybe you are having talks with someone here. There's going to be some sort of, of communication. Uh, we got a lot of stability around your home life. I think that, that's important. You want a relationship that's going to bring stability with, with the, the kids and the dog and the family gatherings and all of that stuff. Some of you all want houses built from the ground up. I understand. I know the feeling. Some, uh, some people wants to want to move to a whole different locality. The Empress, this is you. Starting your business. Some of y'all may be single parents. Some of you all may be uh, pregnant but celibate now. You know, but maybe a relationship ended and you found yourself being alone, being alone and single while you're pregnant. Okay? But that's like a side note. That's for somebody in particular. Maybe your favorite color is green in general. Okay? And we have here the, the, the Five of Swords. Okay. Virgos who are celibate. What are you going away from with this Eight of Cups? What is Virgo going away from with this Eight of Cups for spirit? The death card. Yeah, it ended. So a relationship ended between you and someone. Um, but that's going to, to bless. It's a blessing for you. You may not see it now. But you're going to be the queen. You're going to be sitting on some stuff. Okay. After you had this heartbreak or whatever, it's going to catapult you to newness in your life to uh, push you to things, to push you to do things that you were putting that you had on a back burner that you didn't realize, you know, uh, that you should have been that you should have kept doing. It's like you you stopped doing it for whatever reason. It got boring to you. Life happened or whatever situations took over. I, I see you make you doing good in the finance area. It's like you're not gonna have. I'm not gonna say you're gonna be rich. I'm not gonna say you're gonna be Oprah Winfrey or or jobs or whoever these people are. You wanna be comfortable financially. You're not gonna have to worry too much longer about money. It's like you're gonna have money to cover your bills. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're gonna be struggling forever. Finances for you are gonna get better. Okay. There's a talk that that needs to be had. Are you talking to yourself, saying what you want? This, this page of, of cups and the ten of swords. It's like I'm not giving into relationships no more because I keep getting hurt. And that's the decision that you made. I'm just going to be celibate. I'm going to be single. I'm going to be by myself. I'm going to be bossing up, doing what I need to do for myself. Bettering myself. And once you better yourself, that's when everything else is going to fall into place. That's when everything else is going to work out for you. Because you got arguments. You got people who hurting you, saying things to you. You know, and you don't want to hear any more of this BS. You're tired. You're just tired. You got this five of cups here. Shoulda, coulda, wouulda's. And I shoulda did this in that relationship. I shoulda left that bastard alone. I shouldn't have let, allowed this person to hurt me over and over and over again. And I knew what this person was doing. But I loved him. I, I loved her. You know, I wanted to give this person a chance. But they hurt me over and over and over again. But you still have two of cups that you're not even seeing. You have love right there in front of you. That you're not seeing, you know, but you're choosing not to because you're working on your gold. You're working on your finances. You're working on that glitter, that, that, what they say, all this glitter doesn't go. Yeah, yeah, all this gold isn't glitter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, money does, Money is always shiny. I don't care how you look at it. If it's the golden, if it's the green, the green folding kind or the golden kind, it's still spendable. That still can get you your house that you want, your car that you want to start your business. Having some investments. Okay. I'm hearing something about the New York Stock Exchange. Somebody could be in stocks and bonds or, or, or start learning how to invest. But no inside trading. Uh -huh. All right. 
The celibate Virgo. What are your messages from spirit? We got temperance. This is you balancing out, not being afraid to, to put your foot in the water to see what's next. Somebody has a love of orchids, I'm hearing. Orchid, maybe you have an orchid garden, a lot of different color orchid flowers. That could be your favorite flower. We have uh, the swords, uh, a seven of swords, not trusting somebody. It's like if somebody, I don't think that you're ever going to trust the, the anybody who, could, who just, you'll know who to trust and who not to trust in your life, especially when it comes to love, okay? We got this emperor. This emperor's going to have money, too, coming into your life. Two of cups. They're going to like your butt. Somebody has a big, juicy booty. <laughs> karma. So that person who hurt you in the past, they're going to have their karma, okay? Believe that. We have the three of wands and the uh, the three of swords. So yeah, um, it's like you're finally turning your back on the heartache and the pain that you've been through in your life. And this person who hurt you is receiving their karma. They're going to get everything coming to them. It's so strange that this combination came out. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I was thinking about, about a person from my past, you know. And I'm wondering, well, what's going on with this person now? So I think I'm going to do a reading a little bit later about a person who did you wrong, Virgo, what's going on with them now for, for like karma. But how is that person's life going because they did something to you? What's going on in their life? So it's going to be something like that, okay? All right, Virgo, this is you being single, your celibacy. We have the sun card here. Eventually, you will find love. Two of Cups. We have the Emperor. Uh, but first you got to do your, do your business. Uh, write your book. Finish whatever projects it is that you started that's going to bring you money. Something about oils and, and, and flowers and maybe combining something and selling it or doing something like that. Whatever it is that you do that you're very talented in, it, it's time to put, the, put your ideas into motion so you can start getting paid. Okay, but we have this emperor, and you're gonna eventually meet up with this person. I think I said earlier, if they're gonna like your butt, somebody has some a big booty, they appreciate that, whether you're male or female. Okay, but yeah, eventually you're gonna have a very, very positive outlook on life, especially finances. I'm hearing finances and flowers, however that resonates with you. Finances and flowers, Virgo. All right, I'm gonna start with the other reading now for those of you who are. In a, well, those of you who are having sex, you, can, you don't have to be in a relationship to be fucking. So, hmm, we'll see. See y'all later.